USC Insights Lab has uh, been weighing in on this throughout the day. They've been busy today. They opened up when the <laughs> polls did at 7 o'clock this morning. Polls closed, closed at 7 this evening, but they are still working hard. That's where our team coverage continues this evening with News 19's Walker Lawson. That's right, Darcy. We are here at the USC Insights Lab. Like you said, they've been here since 7 a.m. gathering information, and you guys have seen quite the trend throughout the day from early this morning to now. What kind of changes have you seen? Mm -hmm. So in the beginning of the day, we saw a lot of talk about Joe Cunningham and the policies that he was kind of running his campaign on. And then as the day moved forward and results started to be announced, especially with Tim Scott's reelection and being one of the first to be reelected, it was a huge spike in conversation. And then again with Governor McMaster, and then that also shows that sometimes what you see online with the discussion of Cunningham doesn't necessarily reflect what's happening at the polls as McMaster was re-elected. Again, that's right. As they said, re-election was the big theme here. You mm -hmm. know, James Clyburn, Tim Scott, and Governor McMaster. So just a lot of changes throughout the day. It's very interesting to see. Thank you so much. Well, I'm going to send things back to you guys in studio reporting from the USC Insights Lab. I'm Walker Lawson, News 19 WLTX. All right, Walker, thank you very much. When we come